The clinical programs in the Division of General Internal Medicine are geared towards serving our educational and service missions. As clinician educators, our goal is to train medical students and residents to develop a skill set in internal medicine which enables them to recognize pathology, analyze diagnostic data, and formulate a treatment plan which is not just disease focused but patient focused. Our service mission incorporates our commitment to provide high quality, comprehensive medical care to adult patients in a professional, safe, cost effective, and expeditious manner. In caring for both inpatients and outpatients, we strive to meet the needs of the hospital and also actively participate in hospital initiatives to improve the delivery of health care. One of our strongest initiatives in the past decade has been the development of a robust inpatient general medicine service commonly referred to as the hospitalist service. This is a clinical model of care that is focused on the intricacies and complexities involved in the medical care of a hospitalized patient. The hospitalist service strives to deliver high quality medical care so as to make the inpatient stay and all transitions of care, including the transfer and discharge process, a safe experience for our patients. There is also a lot of emphasis on cost-effective care, which has translated into reduced lengths of stay. In this aspect, I am proud that our hospitalist program this year ranked in the top 25 in the University Hospitals Consortium with a length of stay of 4.86 days and in the top 10 with a mortality index of 0.34. One of our unique services is the non-house staff care model where the attending hospitalist provides direct medical care without any mid-level providers or physician extenders. This has provided several benefits. Firstly, it meets the clinical service demands of a very, very busy general medicine practice. It also meets the service needs for certain medicine specialties who don't have an inpatient presence, such as gastroenterology, endocrinology, rheumatology, and also certain non-medical specialties like interventional radiology. Along the same lines, we have made a concerted effort to provide medical care to the inpatients of our surgical colleagues in the form of medical consultation and co-management services. We are in the process of developing this as a perioperative medicine service line, which we feel is a unique initiative that goes a long way in enhancing the quality of care for surgical patient and ensures patient safety. This exemplifies our core mission of providing a superior level of service to the hospital and its patients. The other important activity our faculty are involved in is in education. Several faculty members hold key administrative positions as medical clerkship directors for medical students and associate program directors for the internal medicine residency program. Whether it is teaching in the ambulatory setting, bedside instruction on the inpatient wards, or didactics in the classroom, our goal is to lay the foundation for solid clinical medicine and to develop our trainees into competent, confident, and compassionate physicians.